What's up YouTube? Today is going to be, to, for me, a very exciting uh, video. I uh, just had my airlift kit delivered for my uh, 2017 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. So this is just going to be a quick unboxing video. Well, I'm going to make it as quick as I can. Um, basically, I'll just show you what all came in the kit and then that'll be the conclusion of this video. So, um, took about a week from Vermont to uh, Central Florida, but um, just to start out with some of the things in the box, the three boxes I got. I got, a, I got some swag here, so I got a t-shirt from Bag Riders, license plate frame, a like a decal if I want to put that on my car, a smaller decal which is more like a, a lanyard and uh, so that's cool it, and you usually you don't get swag but I guess it's a pretty large purchase so uh, it's pretty cool they included that um, this is the, the contents of this box, which I've already emptied. The rest of it's unopened, so we're gonna un, we're gonna open it all on camera. Uh, here's a uh, line sizes installation guide type thing for the airlift management system. I have not looked at that yet, but we will. A whole bunch of fittings you need, which is funny. Kind of, I kind of already bought the majority of these. Um, I did not realize that this all stuff all this stuff came with it, so. Oh well, I guess I'll have extra. Here is the second compressor harness. I will be running dual compressors for this system. So here's the, the harness to wire up that compressor and everything that's needed. Relays and fuse holders and whatnot. I did upgrade the check valves on the, on the compressors. So here are two. Um, SMC check valves. They'll replace the check valves that come on the uh, the Vier compressors. Speaking of them, let's go ahead and move on to the Vier box. So this is the Vier Stealth Black Dual 400C air compressors. I went with uh, I wanted to go with black, even though you really won't see them. And uh, I went with the 400C because my air tank is rated at 150 psi. So you you want to get air compressors that match the uh, your tank's um, capabilities. So don't want to over inflate it or anything like that. So let's just take a quick look and see what's in here. I'm not going to take this all apart. And you get stickers everywhere, man. You got Vire, your vital air source. And let's see if we can get one of these out without causing too much headache. Okay, so here it is, with the 400C connections, the leader hose, the check valve that comes with that I'll be replacing. So there it is. I'm not going to take any apart anymore right now. And then this looks like some mounting hardware to mount it. So. Some sort of inlet air filter installation. Oh yeah, you gotta put a filter on these so they pull in filtered air. You wanna pull in nasty air into these things and then it gets all jacked up. So that is not gonna go back in with that styrofoam, so I'm not gonna try. Alright, let me uh let me get this out of the way and we'll move on to another box. Alright, so here's the next box. I assume this is the three piece system. Let's open it up. Spider Co. Paramilitary 3. Alright. 
right. 3P. Alright, so here's the the three-piece system here. It's like a shoebox. More stickers, user guide, installation guide. That's cool. Need that. This should be the the controller. So this is kind of like a almost like an iPod from yesteryear. So yeah. So if you can get a look at that, that's what's going to be controlling the system from inside the car that I'll be able to uh, update and program and all that good stuff to set the ride height where I want it to be. Here's the, this is the manifold, so this is where, this is like the brains of the operation. So here we have front left, front right, rear left, rear right, E's probably exhaust, I'm not sure what the T stands for, but you know, I'll read up on them and make sure I know what's going on before I get my hands dirty. So here's, a, you know, it's got the plug in for that. This is the brains of the operation. And it looks like there's one more thing in this box. Okay, here's your airline cutter. And this looks like some wiring. Yep. The only thing I feel like I'm missing is the air lines. I don't remember messing with or seeing any air lines. Surely they're in here somewhere. Keep this stuff out. Oh, wait, this box is deeper. And if you're wondering if I'm sweating, yes, I am. 80 degrees today in Florida. Second to last day of November. Hopefully everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Here we go. There's a couple of air fittings. And here's your airline and your wiring. Got it. I'm not gonna take that out. Okay, I got things cleaned up a little bit just to make some room here. Let's see what we got in here. We know what's left. It's pretty much the suspension, so. Let's see what this is. I believe this is the rear suspension. shock for the rear, there's dust boot. So you can see you've got the, uh, the lock ring here, you can, this is threaded so you can't adjust. 
the height. So if it goes too low or in or, or whatever, too high, however you determine, you can adjust. You can adjust that. Looks like it's not tight. So that's cool. The other one. Hardware, airlines does have a the dampener on the top, so there's a there's a, a little knurled switch in here, not switch, but like a little uh, toggle deal, so I can change the uh, the uh, rebound and adjustments on that. Okay, here's the airbag. Cute little thing. My first time ha handling an airbag, an uh, airlift. That's what's in this box. All right, here the, these uh, screw into the top of the shocks, and you can, and they'll go in the engine or the, uh, the trunk, and you can adjust the dampening from inside the trunk. So pretty, that's pretty good. Pretty good idea. Some other hardware in here to get all this stuff bolted in properly. Yeah. Awesome. Now what the hell is this for? A wrench for this nut. Got everything we need here. All right, let's look at the fronts. Okay. Should be the fronts, which are a coilover style with a bag instead of a coil. Take some bolts to bolt these in. Wrench. Air fittings. Okay. Here's the leader hose. It's going to come off of the the bag to connect to the air hose coming from the manifold in the trunk. Alright, let's take a look at one of these. Awesome. Okay. Here's uh, this maybe is the centerpiece. Well, I guess it's in the engine or the trunk. So here's the front. Got everything you need to just bolt in. I don't believe you have to reuse anything from the factory suspension. So, of course, the guide and everything. So that's it. That's the first. That's the unboxing. It's the first look. The first time I'm looking at these and. Um, Pretty excited. I'm hoping to get a, a good start on it this weekend, at least getting the, uh, the trunk setup done uh, with the compressors and the, uh, the electronics and the uh, air tank and whatnot, and then move on to this uh, just so I can drive the car while I'm still working on it. So, all right, if you're still here, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one when we start installing the stuff.